great game on the menu tonight, folks, between the Creighton Blue Jays and the Oklahoma State Cowboys. Number one is the player we're focusing on in this game tonight. He's one of the best young players in the country, Brad. He's a great scorer and a great defender. He can really control both ends of the floor. The Cowboys will have to utilize his skill to the fullest potential, Dick. The Cowboys are prepared to fight tooth and nail in this one, Dick. What are the keys to victory? If I'm their coach, the keys would be these. Number one, don't let the other team dictate the tempo or the pace. Play at your speed, baby. Next, keep the mental mistakes to a minimum. Turnovers could be the story of this one, baby. Thirdly, get your man on your hip after the shot. Block out and get after those boards. All right, there you have it. Let's get to the action. See what's in store for us. A little frustration right there. Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Puts it up. Tickles the twine. He may be in trouble here, Brad. Working around the perimeter. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. He draws a foul. Full house and a packed crowd, and they are into it tonight. I tell you, what a motion, what an edge for the whole team. The center with the ball. With the fake. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Tries one from three-point land. Collins was a highly touted recruit, if my memory serves me correctly. He was highly recruited out of high school. Hopefully he'll continue to develop and really blossom into something special. Defensively trying to stay with his man, and he's going to pick up a foul. What a poor job defensively. Very slow inside, and they attack him aggressively. Looking for a good shot. Fed the low block. Or two. Unbelievable. Look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. for a good shot. Look at that spacing. He attempts the trifecta. That's definitely not the shot they were looking for. Dude. Hey, a few more of those, he may wind up on a bench. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. They work it around the perimeter. The fake. There's a double team waiting there. Takes the shot off the baseline. The Blue Jays have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. Braddy's on fire. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. High post screen. So effective, that screen. for two. Doesn't go. Shows patience waiting for the reset. Up and inside. The small forward takes the feed. They still don't score. Trying to pack it inside. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. The small forward gets the ball. Inside. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork beating him to the spot. Inside. The center gets the pass. Here's a nice face up down in the low block. Oh, he did a great job face up and then just attacked him and took it to the basket.
Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Gets it to fall. Tell me this ain't the play of the night, Brad. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish close position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. On the outside, the power forward takes the pass. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. Hmm, that's not a good shot given his abilities. Well, I can guarantee you that he's not the guy they want shooting the ball. Takes care of the ball until the offense resets. Trying to draw some contact, and he scores despite the hack. Nice to have you along with us tonight. Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews alongside. I'm Brad Nessler. we got a good one going. Foul. Basket falls despite the contact. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, had the real extension. They move it into the front court. On the dribble, gives it up. There's the trap. He looks at the hoop. They work the perimeter. Got a nice screen. Collins is feeling great right now. Hey, can you blame him, Brad? He's getting it done. Ten seconds to put up a shot. Looking for a good shot. Working it around the perimeter. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Gave it up. And a momentary look from three-point land. He's got some room. He shoots off the rim and no good. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. On the dribble, gives it up. And they come with a double team to stop it. And they get the turnover. He keeps the dribble as they reset. Gave it up. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> well, that's good defense. A steal on the inside. Oh, what a way to force the turnover. Great anticipation by the post play. Up it inside. Post, but elected to reverse the ball. He squares up down on the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up and get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. Now they work it around the perimeter. With anticipation defensively. Looking for a good shot. Kicks it out. Ball's kicked out from the post. Questionable call. He gets the layup to go and the foul. What a hoop. He saw the defender coming and tried to go right through him. Woodson goes to the line for the first time. He got it. They're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. He fakes the shot for the bucket. I tell you, a terrific shot. Really impossible to get a piece of that baby. Went away from the post and goes the other way. He shoots from right of the circle. Way off target.
tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Let's it fly. That was nice. College basketball is special to me for that reason right there. Nick. They just have to focus, Brad. That's most important, mental toughness. Goes up for two. They are heating up this building where they're shooting right now, Dick. The hits just keep coming, baby. For two. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. On the outside. Run him right at the screen again. What did I say? The Cowboys have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. He stole the ball. Great pressure there. Fantastic ball pressure. The pressure got to the ball handler, and he lost it. Good fake. Too physical. And he's going to pick up the foul and all oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you why. He's disgusted, but so is his coach. From right in the circle, off the rim and no good. On the dribble, gives it up. a nice look at the basket. Here's the three ball. Way off target. He'll regroup the offense. Strips the ball. Both teams looking to get things going here. Up and inside. The power forward takes the pass in the paint. Stop and pop. That one's off. Puts it up looking for contact. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Turns it over. And the ball goes out of play. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Guys, he seemed very focused from the beginning. His game face was on, and he understands it's his time to perform. Let's send it back to you. Thanks, Aaron. He takes the shot. Oklahoma State are doing a nice job of pulling a solid run together. Hey, they're really starting to cook on offense. Look at these fans. They're loving it. The Rutgers fans are going nuts. They're going bananas, Brad. Working around the perimeter. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Double team now, bad angle. Looking for the foul. Makes it. We'll show you another angle from the booth. Laid it on the outside. They work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. And did no one can really find the touch from beyond the arc. Hey, this is one of those nights that no matter how open you are, you just can't put it in, baby. He shoots from right of the circle. Off the rim and no good. Dick, you think they're going to stay this hot? Hey, it doesn't look like they're slowing down, my friend. Working around the arc. Way out on top. Controlling the ball. We're going to move it around the perimeter. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I'll tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. Take the side of the play in front, which means you got a good help side. 
Dick, they really need to get something going in a hurry here. Yeah, call a timeout and get your boys into the game, Brad. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. And the ball goes out of bounds. Oh, and the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing, they bring a lot of spirit. Kicking back outside. From left of the circle, Oklahoma State are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they put it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. to start things up again. And he tries to spin away from the defender. I tell you, he's versatile in the post. He's got the spin move and a number of other activities. The student body is rocking tonight. Isn't it great, Brad? Looking for a good shot. Gave it up. up the tray, drains the shot. They've got to figure out a way to slow him down. I'd start to get physical with him and I'd see what happens. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense and they do a nice job. Nice shot. Hey, he should know by now you don't leave your guy open. Not a very smart move. Look at that spacing. He takes a three. He drains it. And a momentary look from three-point land. He pulls up with a jumper. Missed it. Spin moves not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. A defensive player beats him to the spot. Now they work it around the perimeter. That spin move not successful, Dick. I tell you, great job on the defense not allowing him to make that turn. I tell you, terrific shot. Really impossible to get a piece of that, baby. Here's a double team. Takes the shot. The Cowboys have got to continue to get him the ball. That he's on fire. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. On the dribble, gives it up. Picked off. Working it around the perimeter. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Nice fake. That's been moved. Not going to work against the defense I like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal them off. They're going to call that a backcourt violation. Somebody got a little nervous that time, Brad. The offense sets up from the sideline. What a great steal. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball.
Working around the perimeter. Gave it up. He goes for three. Buried it. Shots there if he wants it. Sinks it. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. Good rebound position. As soon as you get that defensive rebound, you should be looking to push the ball. I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing the ball. It's a hoop and a foul. He showed good concentration on that possession, Brad. Check it out, Mr. Vitale. This young man is fired up. Look, he wants the crowd to show some love. He's saying, get up, people. Get up. The Cowboys are going to be at the line for the first time in this game. He buries it. down the guy in the post to go the other way. He shoots from the top of the circle. He buries the tray. Steals a pass. They'll work it around the arc. Ball goes out of bounds. He fouled him. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? I think it's important to get to the free throw line, Brad. It demonstrates that you're playing aggressively and that you're not settling for the jumper. It's two or four charity strike. And he'll kick it back outside. On the outside, he's got an open look for the shot. He dials long distance. Bad if they were smart, they'd go two for one. Gets up to make the block. He makes the block. Got some room. If he's working on that low block and that right hip. I'll tell you what, he's trying to line the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Shot clock is dead. Look at the student section, Dick, cheering on their classmates, their peers. If you ask any coach or player, I'm sure they'll say that the student section is the best. They want to win just as bad as anyone else in the building. They work the perimeter. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. We got to see that one again. goes out play. Full house and a packed crowd and they are into it tonight. I tell you what emotion, what an edge for the home team. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. He is just lighting up there. He's beating his man to the spot and hit the shots, Brad. At halftime, the Blue Jays are down by eight. Well, Mr. Vitale, is there a play that stands out as the EA Sports play of the half? Hey, Brad, if I'm coach, I'd love to go in at half after a shot like this. Second half about to get underway. Let's go down to the action. Oklahoma State shot lights out from the floor in the first half. I'll tell you, they executed exactly the way the coaching staff envisioned in their game plan. Huge credit goes to the players for making it happen on the floor. Dick, as a coach, heading into the second half, 
focused player update, and uh, you know what it takes. What is it going to take for this young man? Well, I think he's got to attack the basket a lot more. I think he's got to get opportunities to go to the free throw line, and that'll come if he becomes aggressive. For two, can't get the shot to go. Great play to take that to the basket. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Tries for two. I tell you, a terrific shot. Really impossible to get a piece of that baby. Look at that spacing. On the dribble, gives it up. Reese is receiving a lot of support from the hometown crowd. The fans know exactly how much he has done for this program. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially, he wants a three-quarter. He gets the bucket to drop and gets the foul. He felt the pressure on the way up, but managed to keep himself focused on the rim. They will line him up. It's good. He tries to knock down the three. Holland was a top recruit coming out of high school. Personally, I can't wait to see how he's going to develop. I'm happy that he's played out his eligibility rather than jumping to the pros. That's what you want from your top star recruits. Working it around the perimeter from the top of the key. He puts in another score. He can see the light, Brad, and it's hanging right over the goal. Gave it up. Takes away the pass. Up and inside. Looking for a good shot. For the bucket. Perfectly executed. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. He unloads a three. Way off target. Goes up for two. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. And the ball goes out of play. Things are going well. It's going well for the school mascot, too. I tell you, I love those mascots. They put so much enthusiasm and energy into it. the feed down low. Now the turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's crawling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. Picks off the lazy pass. Looking to move it around the perimeter. His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. And there's a look at the backcourt comparison, Dick. I tell you, Brad, you always want to know how the primary ball handlers are doing. Are they getting their team's quality shots? Good opportunity. The team which takes care of these things usually is in a better position to win a game. He fires from long range. That is a dagger in the heart, that shot, Dick. Hey, they lost focus here. They need a timeout to regroup, Brad. The defender's doing a great job of applying ball pressure. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. goes out of bounds. Oh, 
when you talk about a happy group of fans, listen to this crowd. Oh, there's all kinds of people standing and cheering and going wacky. Too much. That's a foul. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, it's a silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. For two. I love the sky hook, especially when you get great post position on the interior. On the outside. Takes the pass in the paint. Looking for contact. Great play to take that to the basket. The Blue Jays are behind by 11. Jumped in front to take it away. Shoots. You betcha. The Cowboys are ahead by 13. There's a double team waiting there. Oh, what a strip, Red. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Fake. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipated really well. Looking for a good shot. Working around the perimeter. He shoots from right of the circle. It's good. Get that sucker out of the game, man. Tries for two. Goes in. He intercepts it. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. He puts it in with contact and all. the perimeter. Up and inside. Shoots it. And he misses the shot. He gets the foul off. He takes the hard hack in the air, but he lays the ball in. That's what you take for the team, Brad. He's been making some great plays, but taunting? This crowd may be giving him some unwanted attention. Oh, oh Mr. Nestler, that's a no-no. I like it when the team gets to the free throw line. It shows that they're being aggressive. The key is to get to the line early in the game and off. They scored nine in a row. Not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Ate just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. The lane. Defense breaks down again. Nobody rotates over from the help side. He intercepts it. the turn and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. There was no doubt about that one. Adam 
in the post and didn't pass it in. Reverses it on the inside. There's the trap. A bucket perfectly executed. The student body appears to be pumped up and they are ready to explode. Oh yes, the student body, always full of comedy and excitement. He lets it go. He hits a bullseye again. Hey, he's feeling it from everywhere, baby. Takes away the pass. We're gonna move it around the perimeter. Had him in the low block, but opted against it. Off the rim and no count it, and the foul. That's how he likes it, baby. Check that out. He's pumping up the crowd. He wants him to turn it up a notch. He's saying, show me some love. I'm working my tail off here. If you want to know how aggressive a team is, you check to see how many times they go to the free throw line. That's a great indicator. the ball. Number double zero. Supplying pressure and looking for the steal. In addition to the pressure defense, they're going for some aggressive steals as well. On the top of the circle, he misses from beyond the arc. Reverses the ball after having a guy in the post. He shoots from left to the circle. Way off target. The Cowboys are almost expected to be at the national tournament these days. The recent success has garnered greater expectations. They've done great things for the tournament, and it's helped their reputation immensely. Now the high screen goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Gave it up. Nice high post screen. <laughs> Moving it around the perimeter. For two. Perfectly executed. The student body has got it going on. They look to be filled with rage and eager for a win. You can't forget about them. The witty humor and dedication to their teams. You can't find this in any other team sport. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented blocks like they have. Yeah, that helps. Picks off the pass. Working it around the perimeter. Fakes it. He shoots from left of the circle. That was nice. It doesn't get any better unless you watch it again. Here they come with a double team to stop it. Take it away. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. The Blue Jays have a mismatch in the post. This may be a good opportunity for them, Brad. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Guys, he seemed very focused from the beginning. His game face was on, and he understands it's his time to perform. Let's send it back over to you. All right, thanks, Aaron. That's a 7-0 run. Looking for a good shot. Double team now, bad angle. He gets the rejection. Off the rim and no good. Tries for two. 
It'd be nice if he could get some assistance out there. That young man is doing it all for his team right now. If he keeps this up, he may collapse. His teammates must pick it up. And one too many dribbles and a steal. Whistle blown. Basket's good and one. That's concentration, baby. Steps to the line for the first time. That's a nylon NBA. With a bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Takes away the pass. Long down court pass. Nice shot. Looking for a good shot. And a momentary look from three-point land. Let's it fly. Rims out. Jump hook from the low block. They're lighting it up from the field right now, Dick. They're in a dangerous rhythm, my friend. Dangerous. Dangerous for the defense if they keep it up. Well, partner, this one could go right down to the wire. In close games like this, Brad, offensive and defensive execution is very important. Look at that space. Steals the pass. around the perimeter. Howard receives the pass. Here's a double team. He goes for three. Way off target. Steal. They work it around the perimeter. We're going to move it around the perimeter. From right of the circle. He gets that one to fall. That's an eight-zip run. Picked out of the air for the bucket. You bet. The Cowboys will have their fans going silly if they can get a stop here. Turnaround jumper. Off the mark with a shot. Picks off the lazy. He posterized him. He's mocking the crowd. Now that's throwing salt on the wound. The fans are definitely going to be annoyed with him. You've got that right, Brad. Klingman goes to the line for the first time. No good. Pulls down the rebound. Then have got to get out and fill the lanes, Brad. Great defense. Get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Kling blocks the shot. What an unbelievable play, rotating over. Up, easy one. For two, he shows the sweet touch. Laid it on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. He missed the guy in the post and goes the other way. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Sometimes you got to take that whipping, Brad. Well, the D certainly is tonight. And he'll kick it back outside. For the deuce. 
Great play to take that to the basket. Klingman handles the feed. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. I love the sky hook. He cannot block that shot. He gets that ball in deep. Hey, Brown, why don't more guys use it? Entry pass in the paint for the bucket. And he missed. Goes up for two. The ball goes out of bounds. Dick, let's take a look at right now at our backcourt production. Hey, team success depends on backcourt production, Brad. If you can handle the rock, make good decisions, penetrate, and knock down the open jumper, you give yourself a great opportunity to get to the winner's circle. For two, off the rim and no good. It on the floor and up and under. I tell you, did a great job creating a good angle to it. He goes up and under. He seals off the defensive player. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. They'll work it around the arc. For the deuce. And in and out. Launches away. Creighton are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, they to keep pushing and seeing if they can force a timeout. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. He nails that shot. The replay reveals the deal, baby. Versatile in that post. Facing off is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. Timeout. Let's check in with Aaron, who's standing by. Well, guys, I'm sure the coaches are using this time to go over crucial end-of-game strategy. Now, often teams will dedicate parts of their practice to special situations and end-of-game strategy. Now's the time when that practice will pay off, guys. All right, thanks, Aaron. Just about ready for play to resume. It's a four-point game. This one could go either way. Don't give up your seat. Reese receives the ball. Nicky's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. From way outside, scorches the net. Accepted. Better foul quick. Moving it around the perimeter. Jumped in front to take it away. Time out. Hey, these kids are driving me crazy, Brad. This game is too close. I'm starting to sweat, baby. Oh, the pressure. It's a one-point game. One point usually means free throws, Brad. Looking for a good shot. He shoots from the top of the key. Great execution. That's offensive efficiency at its best. They switch things around here for the moment, Dick? I don't think so, but we'll wait and see, Brad. They go back in front by two. Now they 
work it around the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up. Well, it's time to start fouling. they got to stop the clock, Dick. It looks like they're going to slow the game down by fouling, Brad. Well, Dick, it's obvious to me that they are starting to heat things up right now. I'll tell you one thing. They're getting good shots, and they're making them count. They're in a groove, baby. And when they're in a groove, that court looks like an unbelievable Atlantic Ocean instead of a teapot. Points off turnovers, Dick, a stat I know coaches pay a lot of attention to. Hey, Brad, it sure is. You want to limit your opponent's number of points off turnovers. Ultimately, you want to nullify the easy baskets. Pressure that basketball, help one another, communicate. Well, here's a look at the turnover situation, Dick. Probably one of the stats that coaches really care about the most. I'll tell you, definitely, Brad. Turnovers are missed shot opportunities. And without shot opportunities, winning games becomes really difficult. Seeing him change things up a little bit, Dick, here. I wouldn't be surprised either. Our focus player update, our final one of the ball game, and he led his team to victory. I'll tell you one thing, he really responded to the challenge, and that led them to the winner's circle. The State Farm drive of the game. I tell you, he was explosive. He was up, up, and away. What a drive to the rack, baby. That was special. Oklahoma State played well against a good team tonight for the win. With two teams like this, you knew the game was going to be close. That's going to do it for us, folks. Thanks for being along. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler.